Hello guys, Film Addict here. Today's movie is a South Korean erotic drama from 2012, called Dungyo. Lee Jokyo is a respected national poet in his 70s who lives by himself. Ji Woo is his assistant, he recently published his first book, described as a genre novel with psychological insight, and it has shot to the top of the bestseller lists. One morning, Jokyo finds a young high school girl, Dungyo, asleep on a chair on his porch, Jokyo stares at her, instantly enamored, his assistant Ji Woo asks her what she's doing there, she tells them that she was wandering around in the woods and found the place, then she leaves. Ji Woo prepares a meal for Jokyo, but the poet is obviously not into it. Ji Woo cleans his house, then sits down to drink wine with him. Ji Woo shares that with his novel being successful he's become busier, and is trying to find him a replacement, he suggests the high school girl Lungyo, and says that she told him she needs a part-time job when he gave her a ride home one day. The poet agrees to give her a part-time job cleaning his home, Dungyo is cleaning the house, wiping the windows, and the poet is just gazing at her. Dungyo gets her high school uniform tightened and her skirt shortened. At night, they sit around talking about poetry. Jokyo tells her the story of a boy who loves the sound of sharpening pencils, but he can't afford school, the image comes to Jokyo's mind whenever he hears someone talking about pencils, he relates it to the sadness of the boy. Ungyo thinking about the story all day long, she comes running back to Jokyo completely drenched from the rain, she asks him to let her sleep at his place, she can't go back to her house. Jokyo asks her if someone has slapped her, she tells him about her abusive mother, who hits her from time to time. Jokyo gives her his shirt to wear, and dries her school uniform. Bungyo tells him that she recognizes his poems from her school textbook. She tells him that just like that boy from the story, pencils remind her of her mother, her mother used to sharpen pencils for her, that's why pencils bring her sadness, they're a happy memory that no longer exists. In the morning, Jokyo finds Ungyo under the sheets on his bed, he gets in there and touches the tattoo below her neck. He hears assistant Ji Woo coming in and hurries out of the room to avoid misunderstandings. Ji Woo finds Ungyo and asks her about her clothes, she tells him they're Jokyo's. She prepares breakfast for the two, Ji Woo tells her that Jokyo doesn't eat bread, the two bicker about who knows him better. Ungyo brings Jokyo food and asks him to eat. Jokyo happily eats making Ji Woo disappointed, Ji Woo tells him it's just a high school girl, Jokyo replies that he knows. Jokyo asks Ungyo about the tattoo, she tells him it's just henna. Ji Woo follows Ungyo outside and asks to stop coming to the house, Ungyo tells him that Jokyo gave her the keys. Ji Woo pushes Ungyo making her drop her mirror, she cries saying it's her first gift from her mother, Jokyo climbs down the cliff and picks up the mirror, he gives it back to Ungyo, she hugs him saying that he could have been hurt. Ungyo brings Henna with her, she draws a fake tattoo on Jokyo's chest, he gets ticklish on the chest so she tells him that she's ticklish too but on her ankle. Jokyo starts imagining himself a young boy. Tickling Ungyo and touching her everywhere, he fantasizes about the two running around happily, playing with each other and doing the nasty. He wakes up as she finishes drawing, but he continues fantasizing later while writing about it. Meanwhile, Ji Woo asks Ungyo to bring him medicine because he's sick, he then yells at her, telling her that Jokyo is a noble person and she should stop playing with him. He drags her around causing her to bleed. Ungyo tells him about what Jokyo thinks of him, that he's an engineering major who took 10 years to realize that not all stars are the same, she then asks to borrow his novel to read it. Next morning, the two fights about where to put Jokyo's chest box of writings, they start playing around pushing each other while giggling, the chest box then drops and Ji Woo reads one of the drafts, he hurriedly puts it back when Jokyo comes in, the poet asks them to leave it where it was. Ungyo tells Jokyo that she read Ji Woo's novel and she liked it, Jokyo and Ji Woo attend a meeting with a museum county officials, Jokyo tells him that he's still alive and doesn't want a museum about his work until he dies. The officials gossip about Ji Woo. They think he's following Jokyo around like a dog, looking for recognition. Ungyo takes Jokyo to a trendy hangout spot, 
the two share expressions from their generation. In the meantime, Ji Wu takes out Jia Kyo's draft and reads it, he then finds the title to be Yungyo. The county official comes back at night, he shares with Jia Kyo that they will make it a memorial hall instead of a museum, then he tells him about Ji Wu's new work, a short story with the title Yungyo, about a high school girl. Jia Kyo goes to the library and finds out that Ji Wu stole his work. In the morning, Ji Wu finds Jia Kyo reading his book, he tells him that he didn't want the work to go to waste since it was beautiful, that's why he took it. When Jia Kyo calls him a thief, Ji Wu blames him for that, saying he's the one who suggested to ghostwrite his novel, then regretted it when it became a bestseller, he tells him that the world would never find a relationship between a 70-year-old man and a high school girl beautiful, it's just a dirty scandal, and he should just admit being old. Jia Kyo slaps Ji Wu, yells at him angrily, and kicks him out of the house. Ungyo runs away after seeing that. At night, Ungyo finds the house closed, Jia Kyo won't let her in, she begs for him to open, but he doesn't, she then finds Ji Wu's book. She goes to Ji Wu's place after reading it, she asks him if he wrote it, and how did he find out about her stories with Jia Kyo. Ji Wu tells her that Jia Kyo told him about them, she finds it weird and asks him if he also shares everything with Jia Kyo. She then thanks him because she came out beautiful in the book. The two start making out in the car, she asks him if he likes her, and then gets out. Ji Wu wins the annual literary award thanks to the novel Fungyo. Jia Kyo attends the ceremony, in his congratulatory speech, he says just as your youth is not a prize for your efforts. My old age is not a punishment for my faults, then proceeds to describe the novel Fungyo, while reminiscing about Ungyo. On his birthday, Ungyo comes again to see him, she asks to clean his house and celebrate with a cake, he lets her in. Ji Wu comes, he wishes him a happy birthday and leaves, but Jia Kyo stops him and asks him to join. The two are drinking, Ungyo asks Jia Kyo about wine, Ji Wu wonders why she doesn't ask him, she tells him that his answers are not as interesting or poetic, that he's too rigid like an engineer, she wonders how he became a writer. Ji Wu gets drunk and starts bragging about his success, that he's no longer a follower but a respected writer. Jia Kyo leaves the room, Ungyo follows him. He hugs her then goes to sleep, when he gets up at night, he goes down to the basement and finds Ungyo with Ji Wu, the two were doing the nasty in his writing room. Ungyo tells him that she came back for him because she's lonely like him. Jia Kyo watches Ungyo leaving, then slashes Ji Wu's tire. Ji Wu takes Jia Kyo's car instead, but he gets into an accident, the mechanic tells him that someone fiddled with the engine on purpose to kill him. Meanwhile, Jia Kyo burns his writings. As Ji Wu is angrily driving back to him, mad that Jia Kyo was trying to kill him, he gets into another accident, this time he falls off a cliff, Jia Kyo calls Ungyo telling her that he killed Ji Wu. She watches the police taking out his car all smashed, after some time later, Ungyo goes to the library and picks up Ji Wu's novel, she reads it again and realizes something. Ungyo goes to see Jia Kyo, she finds him asleep, not moving, his place smelling like shit. She lies down next to him, telling him that some things can never be felt no matter how hard you tell, that a third person can never describe how they felt at that moment, and an engineer who thinks all stars are the same can never write something as beautiful as Ungyo. She cries and thanks him for making her that beautiful in the story, then she leaves. Jia Kyo says goodbye to Ungyo while crying. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed today's video, please like it, and subscribe to the channel for more.